Hi and welcome again with our tutorial. We are talking about ASP.NET Core MVC Entity Framework. So this will be uh, part 17. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, edit our uh, data. Uh, let me show you what, what we are exactly we are going to do just to run our uh, application and see. Uh, let's suppose if we open to uh, our courses and we need to edit the name let's say from English to math or from math to English any 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 update or spelling mistakes so we need to change this one we can't leave it like this so what we should do we should do we press on this edit when we press in this edit should take us to new page and write the uh, current value or the the new name and after that save it uh, how we are going to to do that so we'll do it together step by step so let's close this one and try try our code. First thing we need to go to our courses to write our action for uh, it will be for edit courses. So will be our action will be get HTTP get vi action result will call it edit. This one will return view okay so when we we'll press in this link we'll send with this link id so, uh, this id what will do will take me to the new page will but with data which data this this data for we'll get all data for this uh, course so how to get it we'll create course or let's say uh, var model equal uh, underscore course dot uh, we need to find uh, sorry uh, will be a uh, get course just one for one course because I will send ID okay and this one send it to our new page for editing so now we should create a new view for editing but I'm using a different technique I don't want to have here too many pages so I try to use these pages so let me try to uh, uh, teach you how to use same page we have let's say same uh, we use same field on this page let's use a create page so I want to use this page create and uh, editing let's say so how to send this module to our create uh, if you run if you run it like this it will be fine uh, and no problem because uh, course page editing will be exactly same course the same page creating page same field same data uh, let me show you how to how what how the uh, how we will will show us for this one so if you go to uh, courses uh, if we go let's say edit this one so it give me all the data here okay so before uh, doing anything so I can't do anything now I should go to if, if I press now edit to back same so let's say okay oh no yeah did you see that let's say 200 200 it's here so it's same doing same but creating a new so how to fix this problem now so edit it's same uh, new, create a new so if I go to back to my repository uh, course repository we'll go to add here what's the difference between add and edit add there is no ID but edit there is ID what's mean that if I say if underscore course dot uh, course ID equal equal zero that's mean new field and added it for me I put all the things here okay else if it is it is not uh, zero so that's mean it's updating updating the field uh, but first I need to get that data from that database I uh, get it uh, from database 
how to get it let's say again var uh, db entity will equal uh, underscore r as will be here uh, db dot courses dot find i need that data to return to me uh, to be course dot course id so i get that data from database now i save it here in this uh, entity db entity so i need to change it now I, this data from uh, my html page on from my view and this data from my uh, from my database so i need to change that in my database to the new one how the user want it so i say db uh, entity this is my database dot course name put the new new data my customer wanted dot course name again for uh, db entity for which one for uh, credit i think yeah equal again course dot credit same that's it so i get my data from my database and i send the new one i set the new one inside it so i need now to save it in my database what i said db dot uh, save change save what i sent to you just save change not db dot uh, courses dot add if you save this one here again if you copy this one i'm um, sorry and you put it under this one here we'll add it again so don't put this one will be new data so i need my old data to update it that's it so let's save here now and let's run it and to see what will happen now okay let's go to courses let's choose uh, this one let's say english 1010 and let's say here 1010 just let's say five or two so it's the same button create okay it says for us uh, there is error yeah an error occurred while updating the entity okay so uh, when i send my data here i have id so when i try to insert look uh, i have id when i try to insert it there is id too so to be conflict for this so let me close this one here and show you what uh, we should add we should add uh, let's go to our view with create okay here i need to add uh, input field input for uh, my id course id so let me call this one course id course id and this one course id now let's run it because uh, when i send it there i have some something missed or conflicts between my data so now i will have uh, my field to save my uh, id in it so let's check what will happen now if you go to courses if i said edit now i have my id i have my uh, course name okay let's say two here again create let me check it so if we run it again uh, uh, before there is no mistake but uh, we add more than the length of uh, our uh, before we write english and we write after english many letters should be just 10 as we uh, mentioned it in our database should be just 10 chart and uh, for a grid same if i add more than 10, 10 chart it will give me uh, error I'll say to you uh, error with the updating so let me show you again how let's say edit this one so 
say in English 10 10 I had graded 10 here uh, 10 10 10 like this so if I say create it will give me error here set to you uh, update exceptions uh, so if uh, what this mean you put uh, string more than accepted in your database so how to fix these things or how to handle it in your uh, uh, visual studio you can go to the models you can go to your courses so which one of them uh, I think both of them we put uh, 10 10 so we need to go to course name under this one say uh, string length uh, how much we put there how many there should be 10 and uh, for this one too same same as this one you can copy this string length credit even you can I think you can add the uh, error uh, I don't know if you can put any error message here uh, let's say uh, message equal uh, should be here should you can add your message let me see sorry no that's why it should be same this one error message ah sorry not here yeah you can but but uh, I will see it after how to add it let me just and again and show you okay let's go to course uh, <coughs> if we said we did this one let's say English 10 10 10 10 just let me just show you if there is anything so the field must be string maximum 10 so let me say like this now it's fine we are updating so I think that's a great easy we use same the page for updating and for creating okay uh, let's try with the new what happened with the new if let's go there like this I want to add a new one English 20 I say like this so what I should add here I don't know the value so if the end user said to you said to him add a new and said to you this requirement what I should give ID so if I put uh, he put anything no it's impossible it's not uh, logic like this uh, so we, we know if we add zero it will be new if there is any number here but this number should be exist in my database too that mean update but this we should handle it in our uh, code how uh, let's go to our uh, controller here we are fine we don't have any problem let's go to create in the create mm, in the create the data came from the model should be changed or we should send no now should here will be here Let's say uh, course uh, model, okay. Let's say uh, model dot uh, id course will equal zero, okay. But this model should be new course, okay. I want to send this one to my form. Let's try again. This one I open should be this value in my page. Okay. Let's go to course. So if I want now a new, I see this number here. I can add uh, English ten, uh, ten hour. That's fine. I add it easy. That's not. That doesn't look good to 
show this to your uh, uh, end user so let's put this one hidden all this data, all this uh, input so what you should go where to our uh, create how to hide it this label I don't need it and this error we anyway we can't see this one but let me hear how to hide this one just like type equal uh, it should be hidden here this one if we save it and run it again okay now let's go to our course after that if we go new now oh, that's good let's add uh, math uh, 2010 graded 3 that's it okay if I want to edit it edit it now same that I don't need here because it will be hidden field but I have the value so let's say uh, uh, math 2000 that's a great that's here uh, I think it's easy to or better to use same page even this one you can uh, change the title here it's okay no problem easy from the from the CSS or from uh, your code you can send uh, to this uh, view uh, that I can send it from the uh, from uh, the uh, from your controller you can send it it's easy to uh, so here we try to save our uh, uh, pages we don't need to add more pages and easy we add one action only here action result not to one for get one for post just we get our data from here and we post it in the same uh, create we use the same this one so that's it for today uh, I don't know maybe maybe you can do that other uh, uh, controller it's easy for you now and you can uh, practice about it how to add the uh, edit for uh, for course uh, for uh, I think now for gender and for a student and for all of them so thank you and see you next video bye bye